All right, welcome everybody. How you guys all doing out there today? Uh, listen, I'll try to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Yeah, and I know my charts are fucking mess right now. Ah, I know they're so messy. Um, what I could do is I could just have this bad boy running right here. I do want to go down and find this trend line though on this chart. Where is it? Come here. Come to daddy. Where are you? Nope, not that one. I know there's a trend line. Let's let's go. Let's we're gonna go probably twelve hour. There it is. All right, let's find this trend line here. I just want to draw it in here so we have it. Is that it? Nope. And there we go. Make it blue. All right. Back to old 30 minute L. Yep, perfect. All right. Yep, still our support right there. So I want to just pop that up there. There you go. It will be something like that, is what I'm thinking. All right, so, you know, now it, it, it could bounce in here anywhere, right? It definitely bounce inside of there anywhere. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but I'm going to zoom this back up because you got that lower trend line right there. Okay, let's put that back there. All right, let's rip through this thing and see what the hell we got here. Uh, all right, so we do have, we have 22, uh, what do we have, two hours. So we have two hours left to fill this baby. So our gap did get filled. Everybody can see that. So the gap did get filled over on the gap o -matic. And I want to load that in here. All right, so our target did get hit right now. It doesn't mean that this can't keep pushing a little bit higher uh, here. It just, you know, it doesn't mean, look, you had, a, you had a gap, filled, gap. You see the target, right? Uh, actually, their target was right there. That was the target. Gap, filled. There was your gap. That was the fill. Okay, bear gap, bear gap. You can see where those, uh, that bear, bear gap did not get filled right there so that one's still empty that one still didn't get full it's all the way down here so that one's way down here uh on uh wherever this is way down here 3300 somewhere no where is it where is that gap at where's that bear gap it's been a different timeline i know we have a gap that's way down over yonder that needs to get filled it's on our gap chart where is it ah there it is 35 uh 3,600, so we have a gap over at 3,600. That does need the, oh, nope, there it is, there it is, it filled. Gap filled, gap filled. Uh, yeah, so it looks good. Oh, this gap didn't fill right there. Hmm, that one did. Yeah, 4070. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that looks like that filled it right there. Sure looks filled to me. Yeah, that's freaking got filled. All right. Uh, let's move along. Uh, wedge line. Listen, I, I still thought we'd get a little bit higher here for sure. 
and looks like we are topping out a little bit just uh, and I don't know if this is a temporary top out but we do have uh, two days and two hours left that I would like to see a critical this is kind of critical moving for me uh, the four hour definitely in a pullback Remember, it says 3,800 is your critical, right? There's your 3,870 right there. Your 3,800 is really your critical zone still, right? There's your 3,800 range on the 6-hour, 3,850 on the 4-hour, uh, 3,800 on the 12-hour. So it's this 3,800 range that's still the support. Nothing has changed there. Take a look at our 12-hour candle. Now we did get a short hour, a short call on the 12-hour candle, and I'm eh, I'm just eh on that. that. That doesn't do anything for me. No bullish crosses though. I don't see any bullish crosses to, to speak of right there. Uh, there you go. Our our two-day, uh, our two-day. So this two-day will close, and that two-day candle is just a big spinning top candle. Uh, it's a big Darth Vader style candle that's trying to close out there. Let's see how that does close out uh, over, over the next two hours. So this, this two-day candle will close here. The volume is probably going to be steady. It's probably going to be steady. A little drop in volume. Uh, so you've had a little step down. You're going to have a little step down. Just a couple step downs in that volume right there. Nothing big. There's your three-day uh, your three days still got another, I think it closes Sunday night, so you still got time on that baby. Uh, 3,700, 3,100, all right. Yeah, there's that 3,830, 3,870. I mean, you're just kind of sitting on the price action right there. Nothing to report. I mean, I did do a video not that long ago. Bollinger Bands. Uh, listen, that 12-hour candle does look dangerous, right? I would keep an eye out on that 12-hour candle. That's probably the most... The only thing I really see that's a threat, right? There's the 3800 Bollinger Band, 3850. I don't see anything here. You still got the same top side uh, resistance. Uh, here's our TDI chart. Remember, this is the one we're watching right here. We want to see this little push up right here on the two day chart. Uh, that's what we've been talking about, right? This is there's that two day chart. There's that little push up right there. That's what we happens every time, and I, I detailed that out in a couple videos. But see that little push up on the two day, that little push up on the two day. So you get a higher high, a lower high, and then the price action falls out. And it's it's you got to watch that. You know when that that uh, red line starts to go down. When the red line's going down, which is your uh, lagging indicator and your uh, your green line, it's your price at, price action goes up. It gets a little, really, really sketch right there. Really sketch. It just kind of like, oh, shit. Uh, so, you know, kind of like a first warning sign. So if you go back on the TDI and you look at that, that does not happen very often. And that, that baby is full on rolled over. Uh, I would like to say, I would have liked to have this be a little bit higher poke right here. But uh, it is what it is right now. I mean, there's no reason we can't still go up over the next two days. Uh, and uh, and possibly pull back down. Actually, I want to look at one more thing because that is outside the Bollinger Band, and that one's underneath the Bollinger Band. So neither time did we touch or break over the Bollinger Band. This is important because if we do go on some crazy massive run, right, which is which is possible. See, look, every time it it's you break over, you come back, you break up. Double top, break down, break up. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, just every time. Now, these have been bullish ones. These are bullish ones. You go back to 2017, 2016, and you look and you see that second push. Lower is higher, right? This lower has a higher price action. Lower has a higher price action. Lower has a friggin' insane price action. I mean, you can't even go wee up there, right? That's a hell of a shot. And uh, that was Lambo time for your grandma. And then here we have lower with a uh, with definitely a higher uh, lower with a lower price action. So just like we have back then, 2014 and 2015, pull that baby back. And then we are watching the green. I'm sorry, we are watching the three day. And there's your three day right there. And just like it did back historically, you're running together. Your green and your red are running together. Uh, nothing that says that this can't give a little double touch. Double push up and then fall back over. I would almost like this one too to uh, close out the three-day candle 
on Monday, Sunday night uh, before it did roll over and die, okay? Uh, at least a pullback. I'd like to see a nice big fat pullback. Uh, to, you know, I'd like to see some kind of pullback to 36 and change, right? Um, there's that head and shoulders. Looks like to me it's playing out. Uh, if you look at your histogram, your histogram made a run, pulled back, made another run. And, you know, you, you don't, this isn't like, this doesn't really like to go, you know, like, and this is, this is very bullish right here. Very bullish right here. Remember, this is only the 12 hour. So this has been a very weak pullback to this date. Nothing that doesn't say this can't, you know, give one little baby push right back up. Uh, this last 12 hours has been a, a bullish histo that we're putting in. It probably will close out as a bullish histo right here in about an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, we're still watching this baby bull Jesus uh, MACD chart. This is the big old fat MACD chart. Uh, you remember, right, there that is. So this was a lower price action with a higher MACD back before we fell out. And see this punch up here. We actually are up with a lower uh, price action with a higher MACD right here, turning out very similar to back here in 2000 and, uh, uh, 2014 but before we fell over and rolled over to Baby Bull, Baby Bull Jesus. I'm still looking for the same thing. Look for Baby Bull Jesus back down here. And 12-hour, uh, we got rejected up in the arc. This actually was up and over the long trade line. And pulled back and is definitely in a bearish posture with that candle. Um, nothing. Oh, oh, super important. This is our trend line chart right here. Look at our trend line chart. 4K. I have this over on. This is all set up for everybody over on this chart right here. That's that. That's that 4K. The trend line number one. Right. Trend line number one is this trend line. That's right here. This blue trend line is trend line number one. And if you want to go, and you can just go back on yours. This is not in log. I have this in just regular standard. You can go back. You can draw these trend lines yourself. So I've actually got three trend lines. I got a lower one, a middle one, and a higher one right there. And you can go back and see every time and how these all played out. And this purple one that comes down, you see I've got that marked off also, 30, uh, 4277. So I've got that marked off some from that top to that top to that top to over here. Now, as you go sideways, you can just keep going side. We can just do, 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 do. We just ride this bitch sideways like a zigzag. And but at least now you know where the top side of that is. Then I have this light blue. I'm sorry, the, the, the darker blue trend line right there. Top, top. And the top is super close to that one. And so I did mark all these out for everybody. So I basically I have three trend lines and a wedge line. So there's your wedge line. Uh, in fact, let me change this wedge line to light blue. Nothing's changed. Price action is still the same, 41, uh, 58. There's that top one. I'll change that one to purple. There we go. There's that purple one, 42.77. And then this is our, our darker blue. Is at 4K right there just to chill in. Just chilling, right? So it's just hanging out. And the next 12 hour candle is just going to get a little bit lower. We're just going to keep moving a little bit lower. Now, if this were to break out, this is the, the next level I would see. A, you got the wedge line to get through. Then you got this trend line to get through. But we're going to go over. We're going to take a look at the. Uh, so I'll pop up this wedge line chart. Trend and wedge lines. Right? Okay, oops, 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 oops. And we're going to come back over here. And you see, we I, I was looking at this as a big, massive head and shoulders. That thing was way up here. This was over. This actually broke out over there like that and then pulled back. I was, uh, we all saw that last night. Um, you got a trend line. You got a trend line. And that chart's really not showing me anything. Just a bunch of trend line resistance. Ooh, look at that. We got a pokey up and over. So all I did was just get up there and poke into that weekly. So there's that weekly open. There's a lot weekly, weekly that these two open and closes. So that did poke up and it hit the top side of that weekly right there. Okay. Uh, same thing. There's that weekly. I have that weekly and you have the 236 came up, hit the 236 and hit the weekly. So that is... 
it's not bad. I mean, there's no, no reason we can't bump up one more time. And... All right, this is my 2018 trend line. And what I should do is this should really be the same color. And there it is. Uh, uh, 41.25. There's marked 41.25. There's your wedge line, 41.58. And then your daily gauss line up there at 41.80. So, and then we had that, what was that? Was that other trend line? Sorry, we had the other trend line. 41.58. Oh, that's the wedge line. 41.58 is the wedge line. Sorry. Okay. And, um, so our ADX did tap this resistance right here, support and or, or resistance. It tapped it, and you see we're also on the support or resistance for the bears. So the bears are the orange, the bulls are the blue. And this is trying to roll a little bearish right here. This is trying to roll a little bearish. These guys keep trying to get together, keep getting repulsed apart. But, uh, you know, you, you could have a, a, another full two, couple days of this just uh, doing the hokey pokey, trying to kiss each other and hold hands here. Remember, when the blue does cross the orange, uh, the blue heads south. So right now, this is still bullish, as long as the orange is on the bottom side of the histo line, which is the green and uh, pink one. And on the bottom side of the blue, that is bullish. Once the blue gets on the bottom side over here and is below the other two indicators, that is bearish. Okay, you see the trend down here. You see the blue below. That is bearish. Once the blue gets below, it is bearish. And um, same thing, really hardcore. Been a big, so this has been a huge, uh, huge bearish bullish run here but we haven't had this is the weekly but we haven't had any bounce which is weird right we've had a big pullback here and this hasn't bounced i mean i would like to see this bounce why hasn't this bounced your bulls your bears are this is actually kind of neutral right here on the weekly form even though the bears charts rolled over a little bit we're almost going to close that, but uh, there's almost going to close that out. Still looking ahead and shoulders over on the WMA baby bull Jesus chart. This is our NVT chart uh, up to support and resistance. Just insane. The run on this thing with zero price action. We go, we show that in the video yesterday, how you get all these massive runs that have huge price action. And this, we've had a huge run on the baby bull Jesus NVT chart, and we've had just no Price action run, right? Or price action is actually lower. Um, that's a multiple mire chart. Uh, this also shows that every any move that's been made right now has been complete bullshit. Ah, uh, ooh, look at our shorts. Look at the god. Ah, what the Jesus Lord. <sighs> All right, this is just crazy. This is just crazy how low this is. Last last time we came down, look, last time this was so insanely overbought up here, right? The, the, this was a highest, the high, it literally had all, it had hit the highest high. It was way up here and it pulled back and then this is a bull run, right? We got this little pop. This is a pump that this huge drop was a big pump. Uh, the longs keep dumping, the shorts keep rising we're kind of headed almost towards an equilibrium in the uh, in the longs to shorts here. And this long RSI is fucking insane. There's no, Listen, there's two ways to get out of this super low long RSI right now, right? With a massive pump, right? A big old fatty pump up to 4,100 would do it for me. 4,150 uh, would do it for me where everybody would just go lose their goddamn minds. And uh, this is this is really dangerous. I mean, this is really gonna tell us we're gonna have a, a big swing coming, right? And or the the price action just falls out of the damn sky, and and then the longs start to climb. Let's say we just had a big dump right now to I don't know. Let's say we had a big dump right now to uh, forty. Let's say we had a big dump to thirty. Right. This is dangerous. It's 
stop losses needed on all trades both ways the the long RSI is insane low this is also part of our countdown Right? This is fucking insanely low. This is super, super dangerous, right? All, uh, you know, uh, two ways, two ways out of this RSI longs hole. Big fat pump or big fat dump. All right? And it's coming. It's coming. I'm telling you guys, something's going to pop to get this out of here. It's just too crazy. It's way too crazy, right? Um, do, do, do. RS, look at this. But looks the bullish stoke. The stoke is just effing insane. It's just effing insane right here. It's just crazy. The stoke on the weekly. What a run. What a huge run. The stoke on the histogram. Huge run. Uh, it's just it's crazy. Uh oh, right on the green line, got rejected, you know, and okay, let's go. I want to see what the daily TD is. It's a five. Ooh. Three five nine one dump. Three five nine one dump. Three five dump, three five dump. See look one three five dump. Three five dump. This is second time. Look, one three five. Didn't put it in a nine. Dumped. One three five. We do have a, a five in right now. You know, so this is the daily. Six, seven, eight. We will not make it to a nine in that two day course. Yep, look, shooting star on the three. But lately, we've been just falling out in the fives. The fives have been triggering the... We just haven't been making it.
So the new trend is we get a one, a green one, green three, green five, right? You get the one, three, five, and then it tells that a dump is coming soon, right? So one, three, five, this did run six, seven, eight, dumped. Uh, actually, that one is seven, six, seven, dumped. And then here you had to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then dumped. We now are on a five. It is a green candle with a green number. Uh, this closes in an hour and 30 minutes. I want to see how this baby closes out. It is definitely kind of a shooting star-ish style candle on the daily. So we're going we're gonna to pop this up here. Really high, then dumped. Really high, then dumped. Super fucking high, and dumped. Really high, then dumped, and really low. Mm. Boy, these fives are usually really high up in the air. We are clearly not high in the air. Oh, dog's home. All right, people, I got to get going. The boss of me. Oh, there's a low one. No, not that one. Sorry, everybody, the dog, the D-O-G.
kind of tells me we'll have one more push up. Right? It kind of tells me we'll have one more push up. <laughs> All right. And there we are. Okay, everybody. That's it. That's all I got. I am out of here. I will dump this video down. But, yeah, this kind of tells me we might get, a, like, one more run up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a schnauzer. Don't judge me. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much. Really appreciate you all being here. I am the Vamp. We're from Trading Associates. I would love for you to do me a favor and share uh, the channel. That would be always appreciated. And, uh, <laughs> it sounds right. Seriously, I call it the snog, and I am out of here.